Okay, I'm going to just confess this up front. I, I kind of feel like um, Michael Corleone from The a Godfather, where he says, uh, I tried to get out or something to that effect, but they keep pulling me back in, right? I am pretty much done recording card tutorials. I've covered so many different ways of using card uh, and so many different, I think, unique strategies for card. Uh, but I just keep getting more and more questions uh, about using card for a agency or design, uh, solopreneur style designer or selling services, et cetera. And I'm just going to continue to give the people what they want, I guess. So um, again, this is the 18th of November. Again, I recorded, I don't know, three or four different videos on card last week. But here I go again, uh, predicated on questions. So one of the most common things that people want to know is can card be used skillfully for uh, selling products, selling e-commerce oriented uh, you know, downloads and courses and things like that? The answer is yes. I've covered this elsewhere, uh, but often I think that these videos uh, are so long that the parts of the question that I'm answering may be kind of sandwiched in the middle of a video and people aren't watching to that point. So yes, here's an example of a card uh, landing page that is ideal for courses. I'm gonna show it to you here. So this is a template as you can see, and there are different anchors. And again, the template here, all these buttons lead to different places. It's ideal for selling Gumroad products, uh, for uh, selling uh, lemon squeezy products or courses that you may be selling on Podia. You have all these different, you know, kind of uh, anchors on this page that make it really ideal for that sort of, of you know, site. You also have like case studies where you can have links to pictures of people who have taken your course, bought your products, or your clients. I know lots of the questions I'm getting are from those of you who are actually selling. Uh, these sorts of pages to clients, which is a great idea. Um, and But here's a different example of the same thing that I've used multiple times for our Mindful Marketplace community, where I'm essentially just using a different style, more minimalistic style page. And you know, all of these here ostensibly are different products that you can sell on a marketplace. Of course, you can edit these as you see fit. So if I wanted to change the, you know, the courses, let's say I want to change that picture. So these are hyper minimalistic um, uh, illustrations from, I think her name is Maria Anatoly, maybe something like that really beautiful i bought these or they're really useful and cool and creative i bought a lifetime license to this as soon as i discovered they were available to buy and it's really truly one of the best investments i've made in uh my own e-commerce oriented business i like these super minimalistic style illustrations and you can see now like now this is a little bit different and you know by dint of the changes I made here. But the other thing that, of course, you can do is change the button. So where this goes right now is CNN, right? This is just a template that I play around with. But let's say I want to send folks who clicked on this to our main course community. I'm going to save it, publish it, and then listing number two is going to go to our course community, right? And there you have it. All right, let's make another change here. Let's first change the image. And of course, you can put different aspect ratios in these as well. These re these pictures are really not kind of the right aspect ratio for this particular template, but you can change this. You can see mark down here, bolds the word listing, and then number three, 
So I could write here. As you can tell, I'm typing with my off hand. I'm really not this slow of a typer. And then I could change this, let's say. I just call, I'll just send it to Gumro directly. I don't need to be. That pick you when doing these videos. So I would have originally just said, actually, I can change that so you can see. I'm going to change this to GR for Gumroad. So you can see the button should change. It didn't. It should. Oh, it did. All right, cool. So you can see it's GR now. And again, these are just like, you know, random ways that you can use this sort of right so it does it goes into my gumroad account but if i wanted to send it to individual products in our gumroad account i'm logged in that's why it's actually driving me to my gumroad dashboard but it could also just go you know to anything like this right so you can just sell products directly from your card page that land on courses like we just looked here for a tiny course community gumroad here etc you have an email list here you can use this at the bottom to you know build your list and again this is just a template you can move this up top if you wanted i'll probably screw this up if i try to do this now and i kind of would prefer not to actually so i'm going to skip doing that because if I start editing this page, this is actually a template that is not supposed to be edited by me. You can actually see, I think it says, Ian, don't edit this. Because I generally, I share these accounts with people and I generally fuck shit up. That's what I'm known for in, in our little tiny design agency because I'm not a designer. I'm a teacher, I'm a writer, but I ain't a designer. All right, so I invariably will mess things up when I try to drag things around. And because this is a template, right, you don't want to do that. You want to make a copy of this and then make edits. So if you do mess it up, I want to see if I can show you where it says, Ian, don't edit. Let's see. I know it says this somewhere in here. Here, there it says, don't edit, Ian. That's me, and that's why I, you know, prefer, if I'm going to make edits to a template like this, I copy it first. So if I screw it up, I have the original intact, and I didn't mess anyone else's life up because I'm dragging things in a funky way that ought not to be dragged. Okie doke, there is actually the uh, coupon for... Uh, Black Friday, it's really advisable if you're interested in using card as a professional in the next, you know, uh, 2025, this is the time to sign up for card. So I do this every year and I highly recommend uh, you do as well. Okie doke, I'm gonna do some more uh, card videos in a moment. Uh, again, you're showing you different ways of using card to make money. Thanks so much, hope you have a wonderful day and I appreciate you listening.